No, we're not moving. I actually started filming the video yesterday, but came down with a migraine. Look at that. Look at that. Somebody completely broke it. Did you see the vent cover? It's broke. Yeah, I saw it the other day. And you didn't tell me? None. Great, thanks. The man just said they go right here. And as you see, they have none. Everything is still in my dining room. I'm tired. Did you blink? No. I had to look back, I thought I caught you. <laughs> Do what's right for us. Started out here, way beyond the tracks. The story of us and how we never look back. Cause this is our time, this is our So here's my current situation, guys. <laughs> Look at all the stuff. No, we're not moving. Go ahead and clarify, we are not. I'm in the kitchen and I am filming my video for my channel, Home with Tracy, and we're getting ready to get these cabinets completed. I've not emptied all of them. I actually started filming the video yesterday, but came down with a migraine and had to stop right in the middle of filming, and I felt horrible for doing that, because I really like when I start a video to kind of get it all done in one day. I really wanted to at least complete emptying everything. I managed to empty this one, this one, this one, this one I'm not sure if I'm gonna do on camera just because it's like, I thought that was gonna take me the longest. I never made it here. And what do we do down here? Oh, I did get this one accomplished. Now I haven't finished them. I've just emptied them. That's how bad my head was hurting. And I managed to empty this one. I still have drawers. I need to do under here. Still have stuff over here. I am in the middle also. I have my computer in here. I'm working at the same time I'm working. Is that crazy or what? But yeah. I'm trying to get our video to YouTube today for this, for the family channel. So that's what I'm working on. The girls are upstairs getting some cleaning done. And I'm about to get back started on this for round two, day two. I really hated it finish it yesterday, but it's okay. Your hair looks fantastic. I know. You need to go get, I thought Mimi was gonna do your hair for you. No, but um. Yeah, tell her to fix your hair. What? I have a job to do in the garage. What's your job in the garage? Um, I might have spilled tiny gumball. Okay. I'm gonna go do that real quick. No, you need to go upstairs and get your teeth brushed and your hair brushed. But now. I need to do that because I'm getting more. You need to do that first. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to get Charlie. I sent Charlie out to use the bathroom this morning. Can you guys see him? There he is. He just came to the door one and like, um, hello, you didn't come to the door to get me. I'm trying to get all the lamps and stuff turned on. That's like, I hate when you wake up and it's just like gloomy and dark. And I know it probably drives my husband crazy. He really doesn't say anything, but I turn on every lamp in the house. Upstairs, downstairs, everywhere. Because I just think it just makes the house feel so much better. When you have all your lamps turned on, even that one. And I don't know, I like all the blinds open. I just want it to feel very alive because when it's like closed up and dark, it just makes me feel bad. I know my husband can sit in the living room at night and watch TV in the complete darkness. And I don't think I'll ever understand that. I'm like, how do you sit in here with no light, no lamp on? It's just like gloomy. I want some lamps on. Good morning, Kayla. Good morning. It is still morning. It is. Believe it or not, it is still morning. Okay, so we are getting ready to leave the house. I have officially cleaned out every single cabinet and I know I've shown this already but this is the final aftermath of everything that has to go back into the kitchen. All this is cleaning and blah 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 <laughs> and then oh boy I got a lot to do. A lot to do, lot to do. The plan is right now to leave, go grab a few things. I realized after like cleaning out all the little areas I did, I really would like to get some baskets or some kind of storage something to put back underneath at least my cleaning area. And we were saying there was a couple more. There's one cabinet that I don't, if you guys go watch the video, you'll see how much came out of it. Or actually, I think I did a little thing on Instagram. But this cabinet right here goes really far back and you can't reach anything. If it's back there in that corner. So we were saying maybe get a basket that if you need to reach something, you could just kind of pull the basket out to get to the stuff that's really far back. I am planning to use these today. Hey, Bradley. Hi. Use this when I get home. It's a, it's a bowl, so I'm gonna put cereal in it and drink I was the getting milk. rid of that. No. I'm trying to no. simplify the kitchen. No, you're not getting rid of this. We'll see. 
Okay, anyway, I have decided to get rid of all my plastic and I wanna go buy Pyrex. I wanna go get like the glass containers to store stuff in. The plastic is just what I've always used because it's simple. When you microwave in it, it messes up, it stains, it's hard to keep clean, and then things get warped in the dishwasher. You go with glass, you don't have that problem. That's another thing I wanna pick up today. And then we'll be back home and I'm gonna try to wrap up this kitchen today. And I have to go to Lowe's because let me show you what I realized this morning. I know y'all's favorite store. I'll show you what I realized this morning. I came over here to the back door and this was like lifted up the little vent cover and I was like what's going on look at that look at that somebody completely broke it and it's probably just from where we have walked and stepped on it I'm not gonna lie we do step on this one bad because it's right at the door if we're like moving things or whatever so I've got to go buy another one of those yeah we're gonna try our best not to step on the new one wait Lowe's yes I have to go to Lowe's today, today. Did you see the vent cover? It's broke. Yeah, I saw the other day. And you didn't tell me? None. Great, thanks. We need to go to the grocery store. Oh my gosh, are we gonna do grocery store too? Mm -hmm. We kinda need to. I need to because we have nothing for lunch. Do you have anything for dinners at all? So we may have to go to the grocery store. Wow, I didn't wanna be gone all day. You know, I just wanna get home and I wanna get this kitchen back right and be done with it. So we're now in Walmart because the vent cover, I'm almost debating if we got them from Walmart or if they came from Lowe's. We're walking around trying to look, trying to figure it out. I haven't seen them yet. Hopefully we can find them. The man just said they go right here. And as you see, they have none. So now it's going to be off to Lowe's, their favorite store after all. We do have to get Charlie and something, so we'll go do that first. I need to see. Okay, what are they? Welcome to some warmth. It's freezing outside. Feels better than outside. Okay, so we are now in Lowe's. And we're gonna see if they have a vent cover. That is nice. I like this one. What'd you say? It like did more. some heat. That's probably just the table. I like this one though, look. But I like that for the um, material. Yeah, oh my gosh. nice. Just the chairs are 600. Oh, I like that one too. That looks like a dining room table, doesn't it? No, I'm thinking for all four. Okay, vent cover, guys. Vent cover. Guys, stay focused. They don't have any. Yeah, they do. The only thing they have right is here. this color, like that, and they have this color. Oh, Not gonna color. work. Hmm? It goes perfect. That's too big. We don't need one this big oh. at all. What is that one? Nope. It's the wrong color. So apparently it was Walmart that we got them at. So we've come here for nothing. So we're gonna have to go find another Walmart. And I hope they have one. You said they had some. You did not call. Yes, I did. He pretended on his phone. Okay, let's head to the next store. See, that wasn't too painless. You didn't have That's to stay in the store too long. Okay. No, I just hate this store so much. I, I think because it's just so bland. Like, nothing it's not in cute. Here. Sorry, well, we're leaving, we're leaving. It is so busy out today. I totally forgot. Not really forgot it was a holiday. I remembered it was a holiday. I should have known all the stores would be busy, but I didn't think about it. I honestly did not think about it. So at the moment, we have gone to TJ Maxx. Kayla had to take back a harness that she had bought Charlotte. It was way too small. Believe that or not, it was too small. Normally, everything's too big for her. So we took that back. They didn't have another one. She decided to buy some storage baskets to do underneath hers and Briley's bathroom because two girls sharing a bathroom there's makeup and just all kinds of stuff in there and she wants to organize and I totally get it we're all on that organization kick right now but let me tell you what happened I went in TJ Maxx I found three like a stack of three baskets that were together for $14 that wasn't bad I look at the bottom and the whole bottom basket is busted I was like really so I took it to the front because a lot of times even if something's broke they'll sell it to you because it was just gonna have cleaning supplies in it so I didn't care if it was busted but I didn't want to pay full price either with it being broke so I asked and she told me they couldn't even sell me the bottom basket <laughs> they would have to take and just keep the top two and they didn't take off hardly anything I would still be paying more for two baskets than I would have if I had gotten all three and I was like mm, that ain't the best deal so we're gonna bypass so I went in the store with the thought of me actually getting storage baskets and at this point I have zero so today maybe a total fail on getting baskets it's busy we've gone to multiple stores no Nobody has anything. There was a few in Walmart, but they weren't a good size. The price wasn't bad for them. So I want to try the Dollar Tree because I know 
they have a lot of like storage containers and they're only like a dollar. I would like to also try Dollar General because I feel like they might be a little less expensive. And just for bins under my counter to hold cleaning supplies, I really don't need anything special. And unfortunately, we couldn't find a vent. There is one more Walmart I want to try, but I'm kind of shopped out. We haven't even been gone that long. It's almost two o'clock, but I want to get home and get that kitchen together. That is going to take me forever. I know you guys know it will. So I wanted to do a little haul of what we picked up while at the store. I did get some more of this, okay? I have four large rolls, like the really long ones, but I was like, you know what? I wonder if I really need some more. And I just thought I'd pick up a couple of the small ones for shelving and stuff like that. So I did get two of those. I found these at TJ Maxx. You know, I told you I wanted to get some Pyrex or whatever. Really didn't find any Pyrex for a good price, but I did find these. They are glass containers and there's three. I know it's nowhere near as many as we had, but it's a good start. These were only $10. So I didn't think that was horrible for that. I also picked up, now these are plastic. I know, I know, but I love these so, so much. These are my little soup mugs. I told you the lids just snap on, snap off. I got Kayla one as well and I needed a new one. Mine was looking really bad. I've had mine forever, but they are awesome because you can put the lid on, take them upstairs. You don't have to worry about spilling them. I don't know. I just love these. So I picked up two more of those. I got this rug for the kitchen. I think I'm just gonna stick it right here because I normally keep a rug here by the sink. This was like $10 at Walmart. Kayla ended up getting her a couple of baskets. These are her, this is her purchase, but she bought these to put in their bathroom. I did pick this up and I thought this was really pretty. I actually got this wire basket. I love the little rose gold on there. I think it's pretty. I got this to sit here because I'm really tired of just sitting a towel here and we always try to dry stuff like this. And I thought this was so so much nicer and that way it could sit over there it will still look decorative and the color matches our you know light plate switches and all do you have the hiccups mama mm -hmm. <laughs> i hear them <laughs> i told you guys i bought some makeup while i was at tj maxx i wanted to show you that real, real quick and i've got to get back busy on this kitchen oh my goodness they have a ton of name brand stuff the ones i found were actually Too faced mostly everything i bought was Too faced i found this it's a primer and it is called what is it called do you it's supposedly like watermelon cucumber sounds really good it says the regular price is 18 i do not believe that because i know for a fact that when i go by their really good primer is like 40 bucks so i don't know where they get that price from i don't know but i only paid 10 dollars for it i actually went in there because i've been using like the urban decay primer because i really like that one they don't have the little trial sizes they used to sell the trial and that would last me forever primer lasts me a long time the little trial one was like 15 it was perfect now they don't have that all they have is the big one it's 38 so i didn't buy it the other day so i found this i'm hoping it's good i'm at least two faced i feel like it will be but for ten dollars i thought that was a great deal i'm in need of eyeshadows now a lot of you know if you watch my little makeup video i do my eyeshadow with my bronzer and my blush and all that just to you know conserve save time i don't know why i do it but they had these cute 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 palettes this is Too Faced, and this is the pineapple one, sparkling pineapple. Oh my gosh, the case is just so pretty. Isn't that so pretty with all the sparkles? And it smells like pineapple. It kind of reminds me of like um, tropical. It's kind of pineapple coconut. These are the colors, and actually, I love every one of them that's in here. The only one I question I'll use is probably the greenish one, but I don't even know if it's gonna really go on green. Maybe it won't, and I'll be surprised. So I picked up that palette, and again, their palettes normally run about, I don't know, anywhere from 30 to 40. It says compared at $22. Maybe this was a clearance price is where they're getting that price. I'm just not sure because I know palettes like this are not 20 bucks. This one was $14. I thought it was a great deal. Then I got one more. I found one more. This one is the Razzle Dazzle. Is that what it says? Yes. So the Razzle Dazzle Berry, this one is so pretty too. The reason I got to, I really like wearing pinks and reds as well as just neutral like browns, tans, whatever. So I picked this one up. Package on this one's super pretty too. I love the packaging. And this is the colors on this one. And it smells 
just like raspberry. Oh my gosh, smells so good. These are these colors, and they're so pretty. They're still similar, like neutral looking, but they have a more pink tone. I really, really love that palette. I stood there for the longest time going, okay, which one? I only need to get one, which one? I couldn't decide, and they only had these two in the whole store, so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna buy them. Because 14 a piece, that's how much these were, I still couldn't have got one palette at Ulta for that, you know? So that's how I looked at it. <laughs> that's my way to talk myself into it. Then they had the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This was compared, it says at $11. I don't believe that either, because I've looked at lipsticks, okay? And I've looked at lip glosses, and they are 25 and up, okay? Maybe it is 11. I don't know, I've never seen it for 11. This is a lip, what do they consider? A liquid lipstick, and it is in the color Naked. That's what it looks like right there, and I think it's a really pretty neutral color. I'm into more neutrals by far than I am like really bright colors. This one's right up my alley. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love it, but yeah. That's my little haul. That's everything I purchased. I did not get any storage, like I said. I'm kind of disappointed at myself, but it's going to be okay. So I'm going to take a break from this vlog and I'm going to get back on my Home with Tracy channel and get this kitchen completed. The only thing I can say is I'm going to do the shelving. I'm going to re put everything up and I'm probably going to just have to worry about storage containers later. Those can always be added whenever. So yeah, catch you guys probably in a few hours. It is 6.30. Almost 6.22 and the kitchen looks great. What I was showing you guys, I love it because I can hang a towel on the side and we can put our dishes in it. I have not used these yet, but I will. And there's the rug. I really like it, the little mat. But the funny part, everything is still in my dining room. But I'm explain to you why. I took a lot longer to line everything than I was really expecting, just to be honest with you. But everything is lined. I got all the shelves lined. I got the drawers lined. I really like the pattern too. I think it looks really good. So everything is complete. Even the big cabinets down here. I was saying on my channel I couldn't go all the way to the back because I didn't want it to be like double like layered together because then it just bubble up at the back and drive me crazy. So I left it single. But being that it's 6.30, I have a lot to do tonight. I'm going to have to call it quits on this project and it'll have to be finished tomorrow. But the only thing I really have to do is pretty much transport all that back in the kitchen and put it away and just kind of decide where I want things to go. But for the most part, I know where everything's going to go. Should go pretty quick. But I'm going to call it a night as far as filming for my channel because I'm tired and I'm just ready to be done with it. I've worked in here all day and I can't believe how long it took me just to line the shelves. I really didn't think it was going to take that long, but it did. What are you doing? Nothing. Just standing here staring at yourself in the mirror? Okay. Awesome. What's your plans? Nothing. Did you tell dad to pick you up something? Okay. Yeah, he's drinking a bag of hot fries. That's not going to be your dinner, Briley. Okay. Have an ice cream. Riley! She eats such junk food. Um, we are having a fend for yourself night. I never Yay. made it back to the grocery store. Yay. And that's going to have to be done tomorrow. We have a busy day tomorrow too. Yeah. I know. But first things first, I'm going to get in this kitchen early tomorrow morning and I'm going to clean up. Did you blink? No. I have to look back. I thought I caught you. <laughs> anyway. I'm doing cereal for dinner. Apparently she's doing, I can't say anything because I'm doing cereal, I know. Mm -hmm. She's doing hot fries and ice cream? Mm -hmm. What's Kayla getting? I don't know. I don't either. Aiden got a pizza with dad, I think. No, no what are you getting? Oh, you're getting what? Oh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, is he gonna call you when he gets to the store? Okay, so it's bedtime guys, and I hope you did enjoy today's vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up for this tired mom. <laughs> Leave a comment down below, subscribe to our channel if you're not, and we'll see you in our next vlog. Bye.